Lucas was right. She was destined to change the world. I'm Brooke. You probably knew that. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 times Brooke Davis was the best character on One Tree Hill. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the best moments of this fan-favorite One Tree Hill character. Anorexia is a disease, it is not a fashion statement. Number 10, Time Capsule Video. Brooke has always been one to tell it like it is. Let's see, Peyton? Brooke, come on. I dare you to show us how you really feel. And her time capsule video is no exception. While most of the school is reminiscing about memories, complaining about their problems, or making startling confessions, But that doesn't change the fact I need to get closer to my father. Brooke instead makes a plea of hope for the future. She lays down some truths about how hard it is to be a girl in high school these days, and wishes that things will be better by the time the time capsule is unearthed. If you're fat, dumb, sexual, and a guy, you're okay. But what makes this an essential Brooke Davis moment is that this profound statement is followed up by a spontaneous strip show to document her body in its prime. Sassy and sincere, it's classic Brooke Davis. Number 9, when she saved Peyton. Like most lifelong best friends, Brooke and Peyton have had many ups and downs. But it seemed like their fights over Lucas and Nathan might just be the thing to end them. Peyton? Peyton even goes so far as to write a slur on Brooke's prom dress. But Brooke sees the glasses half full and goes to Peyton's house to make up, only to be greeted there by Peyton's fake brother, Psycho Derek. With some unparalleled badassery and some 8th grade cheer camp moves, Brooke saves Peyton from a grim fate and also saves their friendship. Peyton! The 8th grade cheer camp! Nothing like a double kidnapping to bring people together. I guess now it's hoes over psychos. <laughs> Number 8, when she fired her mother. From the beginning of the series, Brooke's mom was this sort of mythical villain that was only spoken of but never seen. Where the hell is my bed? After the four year time jump, however, we finally got to see the monster in the flesh and learned that Brooke was not exaggerating. It was hard to see the strong, confident woman we had watched Brooke grow into over the years feel so small in the presence of her mother, but that only makes it all the more satisfying when Brooke finally stands up to her and takes control of her company and her life. Whatever. You're fired. Number 7. When she says I love you to Julian for the first time. Brooke has had some really bad luck with love, and when Julian comes along, things are complicated between them to say the least. You must be Julian. <laughs> Brooke Davis, I've read all about you. When Julian says that he loves Brooke for the first time, she doesn't take it so well. You need to go. Why? What did I do? You know what you did. But after some ups and downs, Brooke is finally ready to let him in. She finds him on the set of his film and says, I love you, with a little help from some movie magic. I love you. Can't you see? It is a beautiful and well-deserved moment for Brooke that had been a long time coming. Number 6, The Photo Lesson. Out of all the characters on the show, Brooke arguably goes through the most character development. The photo lesson in season 4 is a big moment for all the characters as they reach the end of their senior year and re-examine themselves and their classmates. Brooke shares a very honest hour with Chase, where she admits that she has spent her whole life feeling insecure and inadequate. I was worried I wouldn't be enough for you. But by the end of the lesson, she embraces her insecurities and takes control of them rather than letting them control her. People are gonna label you. It's how you overcome those labels. Number 5, Taking in Sam. After four years away building her business, Brooke returns home to Tree Hill with a new dream. She decides it is time for the next stage in her life and wants a child. She already proved just how motherly she can be when she looked after baby Angie, but Brooke's real first foray into motherhood, fittingly, is with a troubled young teenager. Having had several unpleasant run-ins with Sam, Really? What are you doing? Brooke takes her in and becomes her temporary mom seeing something in Sam that reminds her of her younger self. It's kind of late to be out alone. Though things are rocky for them at first, it is amazing to see both Brooke and Sam grow together into the family that both of them needed. Number 4, Cheer Competition. Brooke has the opportunity to participate in a fashion show and jumpstart her future in the industry, but she would have to miss the cheer competition she looks forward to every year. After some deep contemplation, she makes the mature decision that she has plenty of time to achieve her dreams, but only a little time left being a kid. Time passes you by, young lady. 
Naturally, things go horribly wrong at the competition. But rather than get angry, Brooke makes the best of a bad situation and just starts dancing like a goof on stage. Inspiring the rest of the Ravens and the crowd to join in. You just can't keep Brooke Davis down. Number 3. When she sacrificed herself for Jamie Brooke has always been selfless when it comes to the people she loves. And no moment is more representative of that than when she nearly dies saving Jamie from a car wreck. I can't get it, buddy. Is this the one going to be okay? Yeah, we're all going to be okay, Jamie. During a terrible storm, Brooke comes across Jamie and his friends with Miss Lauren in an overturned car. While trying to save Jamie, the car gets knocked into the river with both of them still inside. No, stop! 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 Julian finds them and tries to save Brooke, but Brooke demands that he save Jamie first. Julian! I can do it! Help him! I can do it! Julian, he's just a boy! I can get you out, Brooke! Save him and then save me, please. He's just a boy. For a few heart-wrenching minutes, it seemed as though we might actually lose Brooke. Though that would have been shocking, it's no surprise that Brooke was willing to risk her life for someone she loves. Number 2. Starting Clothes Over Bros Brooke has spent a lot of time letting herself be defined by both her absent parents and the boys who neglect her. And after a letdown wherein her clothing designs were stolen, Brooke is more dejected than ever. To, like design my own label or put together a hot fashion Brooke, show? Brooke, I or... thought you understood. Since you work for the company, any designs and profits that you made for the store belong to the store. But with some help from Haley and some artwork from Peyton, Brooke bets on herself and starts her own clothing company while still in high school. Fittingly, she names the company after her and Peyton's catchphrase, Close Over Bros. After watching Brooke get torn down so many times, we finally get to witness her start to see herself as the powerful, talented, and driven person we always knew her to be. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You gotta take a stand, Jamie. If you start giving in now, it's just gonna get worse. You are dead to me! And you? I know your type. I used to be a bit of a bitch just for the sake of being one, but now I am a bitch for the sake of my friends and family. You do not want to test that. One more thing. Don't ever hit me again. Good morning, Ravens. The ballots have been counted. The results of yesterday's student council election are in. Breakfast Club, you were the priss. Number 1. Taking on her attacker Brooke had been feeling very vulnerable after being attacked in her store. Who wouldn't? But upon realizing Sam is in trouble with the same man, she runs headfirst into danger and unleashes hell on her attacker. Have a nice night. It is an awesome, triumphant moment watching Brooke beat the crap out of the man who assaulted her. She single-handedly takes him out and holds him down until the police get there. Get over her! Get over her! I should have finished the job when I had the chance! Apparently, Xavier didn't learn his lesson the first time and has the nerve to return years later, only for Brooke to double down and beat him again. <laughs> Brooke Davis is truly a badass, and so much more. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.